Hey there YouTube, just checking in again. Had a small issue with my truck. So my uh, 2017 Ram has the power sliding rear window. It's awesome, uh, combined with the sunroof. When you have that back window open and the sunroof open here, uh, just with it uh, tipped back in vent mode, it'll draw the air out through the roof, but then it pulls the nice air back in through the back of the truck. So I, I drive that way all the time with that back window either fully opened or at least partially cracked. And uh, it's one of my favorite features on on, on my truck, just, uh, just for comfort. I don't really drive with the windows down all that often, but I do open that rear window all the time. So the problem I had, my, my switch is up here for that back window. And the problem I had is when you go to close it, it kind of freezes up and I don't know if it's still going to do it because I did already lube it up a little bit, but I, I think it needs to work in. So let's, yeah, just a little stiff to begin with. Still much better than what it was before. And what I ended up doing is lubing that track in there. And next thing I'm going to do is pop out and show you how I did that. So I'm going to open her up, and I'll meet you outside to show you how I lube that track up. Well, it's a bit windy out here, but I just want to show you first the lube that I'm using here. Uh, this is a dry lube, and the reason I went with this one is it actually says straight on the can that it's uh, safe on plastic. And as you're well aware, there's a lot of plastic on these trucks. So it's a Teflon style lube, again, safe for use on plastics. And then I'll climb up here and spray it right into the track. But the first thing I'm gonna do is do it from the inside and uh, I'll show you exactly where I'm spraying it. And hopefully if you guys have a similar issue, you can do the same on your truck. So it's a little hard to see here. It's, it's really hard to really kind of get this on camera here. Uh, but the whole system here is pulled in each direction by a cable. And then the window itself runs on a track uh, upper and lower track here and right below that cable it show climb up in here right under that cable is where the track is it's really hard to get this in here just spray a couple squirts down in here all along this window track And then next thing I'm gonna do is go back up front and close it. Let's see if that helped any there. If not, I'll spray it again. Get the entire thing closed here. Alright. Got that closed and I'm gonna jump back to the back again and spray it with it closed on the other part portion of the track. Now it's the easiest to get back here with the uh, headrest removed. So I already pulled that out since it's a two-handed operation. And get in here. Couple spots. And hopefully now I should be good to go. So just wanted to show you exactly what I did to fix this sliding window here. And hope if you have a similar issue, it's a pretty easy fix versus having to take it in. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you really enjoyed this pretty simple video, give her a thumbs up. See you next time.